everybody. This is going to be the last video on graphing a clock in Desmos. Slides, yeah, just cutting to the chase. Um, just wanted to quickly show you uh, what, we're, what we're going to achieve here, um, starting with with the, what we're trying to solve, how we're going to do it, and then what does that look like on Desmos, since that's what, what you're all here for. What we're trying to do here, you were given an hour, minutes, and seconds, and given that, what is what is the angle? Um, and how we're going to go about it, uh, we're going to have three inputs, that's hour, which which we're going to define as, as T sub H, minutes, T sub M, seconds, T sub S. And then, and of course, we need to um, use each, each of these components to figure out what what, what these are in, uh, in in degrees. And you can see here that, that we're using that we're using the second value here to 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 drive drive the minute value, and then we're using using the, uh, the using the, the computed minute value here to drive the hour. And so, so you can see what we're going to do here is is um is is the majority of the control is going to be in seconds. You can use the minute hand if you want on um to, to drive the hour hand. Uh, and um and yeah, we're going to need to convert these to radians because as as have you have seen in the past, we cannot simply just 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 put radian put put the degree values in into sine and cosine. They're going to get read as radians, and so we need to tell it no. That's not we we don't mean one hundred eighty. 80 radians when we meant it in degrees, so we need to tell it what it is. What does that look like on uh, on, on Desmos? Well, you can see here that's, that's, um, that we have the three inputs defined, find the T sub base for the hour, your minutes, and, 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 the, um, and the seconds here. Um, for the color coding, the, um, the black hand is the seconds, the blue hand is the minutes, and the red hand is, is the hour. And you can see that these formulas it, it, um, they do translate one to one um, on here, and uh, and um, you, you can see here that at these lines, yeah, didn't didn't, uh, didn't bother with the linear equation, just just stuck those two points on there, uh, stem, stemming out of the origin. Uh, demonstration on, on, on how this works, you can see that that um, as you move the Seconds, uh, that's the seconds hand. You can see that it's it's um it's driving the minute hand, and as and as expected, the, the hour hand hand should uh, should barely budge, um unless you 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 get to get to the next hour. So if you want to if you want a bigger influence on the hour hand, um that would be moving the minute hand. As a quick note though, like uh, as you can see that um as when I drag this I just slider backwards only then this does move um it does appear that that's moving forward it's because uh, by um by convention um counterclockwise is is a positive direction and and the um and the clockwise direction is negative and that's why i uh, um if you, if you want your clock to move forwards you need to move the, move the slider backwards it feels weird um you, you you can you can correct for it um out, outside this video um, but as far as this graph is concerned, um, if I play around with this, this URL at the top goes goes to this graph that I'm showing you here. It will be available in the in the description below. Um, I think I cover everything. So if you if you have any have any um have any questions confusions, do do uh do do drop them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, and definitely let me know if you there from, from it in any shape or form by um by, by leaving a like on it uh, that lets me know to make more videos like um like this um yeah i don't have anything else to say so so um so i'll see you in the next video